Hey everybody, what's up? It is Bacon Burger King, and I welcome you back to episode 35, I believe, of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I just want to get these lives right off the bat, because we'll probably need them. Now, as I stated in the last episode, we have quite a few hidden stars that we haven't gotten. Three to be specific. We have one over in... Hold on, let me pull up the map real quick so I can show you guys. We've got... One in Deep Dark. One in Dreadnought. Uh, and the other one is in Gold Leaf. And we have... Where is it? Uh, the Green Star and Bowie Base. I plan on getting all four of those in this episode. I'm gonna totally ignore all Comets for now. I mean, Comets are... Comets are pretty much all I have left. Comets... Uh, green star missions, which we get after getting all three green stars. Um, wait a second, I fed that hungry Luma. Uh, I don't know. I'll go. Have, I'll have to go back up there and feed him again because apparently I didn't save after I did that. So we have these two hungry Lumas to feed, the green star missions, and then comets, and then that's that's it. And we have to go fight Bowser. So I wanted to take out the hidden stars that we haven't done yet because after that it's pretty much all comets with a few exceptions now as I said I'm going to be totally ignoring all um, purple coin or purple coin comets or just comets in general for now just because I really don't I just want to get these uh, hidden stars out of the way uh, most of them aren't too painful but um, I'm gonna start. I'm deciding to start out with the most obnoxious one first, because apparently I'm sadistic like that. Also, because um, two of them, uh, two of the uh, hidden stars we're gonna get reside up here anyways, so it would be the most time-efficient way to go about it. So we've got Dreadnought. And deep dark, uh, deep dark galaxy. Because I'm an idiot, we're going for dreadnought first. And let me tell you, we are in for a treat. Oh boy, we're gonna go do the secret star for this level. Now, getting to uh, the area for the secret star is really not a pain at all. All you have to do is go to the underside of this UFO-like platform. It all goes downhill from here once you get into this room platform area with one of these stupid little robots that I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I hate these things. They're really... They always piss me off. You know how hard it is keeping a dreadnought clean? And then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo depot. Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. Yeah, thanks for giving me probably the worst... One of the worst missions in the entire game. Seems simple. Except the fact that I already screwed it up. Now, I'm gonna use this horribly botched run of this stupid star as an explanation of what you're supposed to do. I honestly don't remember if there was another star like this earlier. If it was, if there was, then it was on a uh, battle rock or whatever the hell it was called, not battle block. But anyways, the issue with this level, it gives you 30 seconds, and you have to throw each of those bombs precisely on the, those little gold areas where you'd usually shoot a star bit to get coins. You have to land. A bomb specifically on each of those if you want any hope at all of making this and it's not just that it's timed too and you have to be as precise as possible like if you if you like it's really tough to explain how precise you have to be if you throw them out of order for instance like if you try and throw them in a weird order you will not win. Now this is the order I usually like to try for. I mean, you don't have to be precisely on the gold area, but you have to be close. Like, I might have just screwed that up right there. That's a 
an indication of how precise you have to be. And I screwed that up royally. Wait, I can still save it, I think. Nope, I just made it even worse. And there's another problem right there. The bombs take 10 seconds to explode, right? I threw that bomb at 10 seconds left. But apparently the clock had been run down slightly past 10 seconds, so it didn't get the chance to explode. You will see that happen a lot when you try to do this. Seriously, this star is infamous for a reason, people. It sucks. And most people are aware of it, but for the few unfortunate or for the few fortunate souls who weren't aware, it sucks. And at this point already, there is literally no point to me trying. I, I could just do that because if you don't have that last bomb in your hands before the 10 second mark, you have no chance. And let me tell you, this mission pisses me the fuck off. I'm sorry, but this mission is next to impossible to do. I despise it with every fiber of my being. See, I already screwed it up. Look, that's not gonna... I already screwed it up. That's how ridiculous this mission is. It's so stupid. Makes no sense, by the way. Like, A, why do we need... Why do we have a time limit on blowing up someone else's freaking trash? First of all. Second of all... Um... Why does it respawn after you blow all of it up? Is, is this guy, like, some sort of torture? Freaking torturer? I don't know what the adjective for someone who tortures would be. Torturer? Is he some sort of torturer? Does he just want to see Mario suffer for that star? Because if you're going for 100% like I am, there's no skipping. There's no skipping any stars, so... You've got to do one of the worst missions in the entirety of the game. And I'll tell, I'll tell you right now, I'm not alone on this opinion. Most people despise this level as much as I do. And I don't know why I'm still trying, because at this point, that bomb is not going to explode in time. Literally, like, a millisecond off. I fucking hate this robot, too. Beat the shit out of it for a moment. Take out my rage on it. You're the reason I have to do this! Ugh. Anyways, I'm obviously going to keep trying. This is obviously, I wanted to do the most difficult one first. So that is why I'm subjecting myself to this right off the bat. Right, I'm just going to try and focus for a moment. This has a chance. Oh, you can't be serious! Well, uh, see you guys. No, no, you gotta shut the hell up and just give me my goddamn star and stop letting this trash respawn on me, please. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Seriously, in it. In a really great game like Galaxy, it's a shame that it has some full. It, it has some glaring flaws like this mission, uh, the manta ray missions, and the um, the ball missions. The ball missions, not nearly as much so as the manta ray, but we know that the manta ray is pretty crap too. Come on! God damn it! Look at how close I keep getting, though. It's... It's so stupid. I hate this mission so much. I don't want to do it. I really don't. And I might be... It, trust me. Even though I keep coming close, it's harder than it looks. It really is. Because it's hard 
judging exactly where you need to throw the bomb on those last two if you want to do it fast enough. So I'm almost certain you need to jump throw them, and jump throwing is much less accurate than just throw throwing. Right. I probably screwed that up. Fan fucking basket. I probably screwed that up too. Actually, hold on, we've got to run here. Oh, thank, thank you, thank, thank you, Bird Jesus, Bird Jesus, thank you, thank, thank you, stupid ass star robot being. Hope I never have to see your stupid piece of shit face again. I think I'm just gonna do one of these to you. And give me my star. The star that I well earned on that one. It's okay though, because it's all uphill from here, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anything is going to be this difficult from here on out. At least in this episode. Alright. It only took like... What? It only took us like 10 minutes in to freaking... Get that star, but... Oh wait, what the hell? Why am I leaving? Only took us like 10 minutes to get the stupid star, but hey, we did it. I'm gonna have to be really fast with the next one. I know that the, the Daredevil Comet... Oh, does that mean I have to do it? Ah, oh, that's, that's, not, that's not fair. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna go see which levels I have secret stars in that don't, that, uh, don't have comets at them. Because unfortunately, once there's a comet at a level, you can't choose to not do the comet. Which is kind of stupid, but... Another minor complaint. Alright, I'm hoping that at least one of them don't have a comet at all. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can do gold leaf. And then, uh, hopefully the uh, deep dark comet has uh, went away at that point. But if not, then, um,. I'm gonna have to go do buoy base. So next course, next uh, course of action is going to be gold leaf, um, gold leaf, and then if deep dark galaxy's comet is isn't there, then I'll do that. But if it's still there, uh, I'm gonna go for buoy base green star. Okay. Luigi, you don't have to go wah in the background. That's uh, that's that's your rivals. Um, that's what your rivals supposed to be doing, not you. Wah. Okay. Oh, I have to see another one of them. Get out of my face. Okay. Oh, we're not doing you yet. Gold Leaf Galaxy. Uh, Secret Star. Uh, as far as I remember, this one isn't too tough, and I'm hoping I'm right, because after last one, um, yeah, I don't want to have to deal with that very much more. Okay, I just have to remember exactly where we've got to go here. I, okay, I know we've got to get up this way. Because we have to get to that tree up there, I don't have a very good view on it. But that's where we're supposed to be going. Can I trick my way up here? Uh, I'm starting to go down. Alright, I'll go figure out the real way to get up. Uh, avoiding the rocks, obviously. Horribly avoiding the rocks, obviously. Uh, is there a good way over there? Maybe I'm supposed to play through the level as intended to get over there. Hey, Catacord. Oh, alright, okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, now, what we're gonna need to do is... Oh, start up, sweet. We wanna go around to the back of this tree, and we wanna hop in a bubble. Now we wanna ring this bell over here. And, what would you know, we have some music notes to collect.
giant. That wasn't too bad at all. You just gotta make sure you don't uh, let the timer run out on that. I don't know what happens. I'm hoping that it would let you go ring the bell again and give it a shot again, but um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was that, and that wasn't too bad, really. Now we can go check out and see. Alright, that's uh, not safe, because it takes forever. Die. Okay, let's uh, go back up to the garden and see uh, what's up there. Taking the uh, obvious way up, because I don't feel like going all the way back down and getting the red star. I almost fell off the edge there, didn't I? Alright, please let me go back into Deep Dark. I really do not like Deep Dark, but I want to get that hidden star. Windows 7, hello, how have you been? Alright, looks like we can get back in there. I believe this mission, like the secret star is in the first mission? Alright, yeah. The underwater ghost ship. I'm not sure why I give it that accent, but uh, I digress. Alrighty, so now what we have to do here is uh, get inside that cage. So we've got to go up here. Uh, hit it, please. Damn it. Oh my god, are you serious with that? Really? <laughs> oh, that is bull. Alright, I thought I was about to miss it again for a second. Alright, we don't really have to kill all these things, but I just kind of feel like doing it. Oh, because it gives you good star bits, okay. That's a good idea. Alright, uh, star bits aside. What we're really supposed to do is grab the fire flower as usual. And we want to get back down and uh, light up the torches by the gate so we can get in. So yeah, pretty much as normal for this uh, first part of the level. Alright, come on! Okay, I did it. I didn't want to have to go all the way back up there and uh, get the fire flower again. And I'm glad I got that in one shot. Speaking of shot, die. Oh, guess not. Alright, uh, next up we want to go under the water. Like so. And we see the star bit arrow telling us to go this way. Uh, yeah, we're not supposed to go that way. Instead, what we want to do is go down this way and grab that green shell that we see. Uh huh, there it is. Hopefully I do this before I run out of water. Okay, now we have to find the ship right here. And I screwed it up. Basically what you want to do is get this ship blown up. Even if it means your life. Oh, I guess not. Oh, okay, I guess you're supposed to throw the shell at it. Oh, I need to get to that coin before I suffocate. Or drown, rather. Suffocate in water called drowning. Oh, come on. Got Mario. Come on. Ah, uh, there we are. I th I was I was like really am I, am I going to die from that? I mean, I've been pretty I've been playing decently for the past couple episodes, but then this episode has just been downhill because uh the first mission's bullshit and then that last part would have just been really stupid. All right. So we are I guess we are supposed to throw the uh green shell at this ship. We're supposed to throw it at the mines more specifically. I thought I could just ram myself into it, but apparently that is not the case. As we see right there, those mines were hiding this, uh, this star right here. It's gonna shoot us all the way over to this. And as we can see right there, 
The boo's got the power star. But how are we supposed to get it out of him? Well, I guess we gotta go up here and figure that out. For our setups. All the while, we've got this stupid little thing rolling after us, and that's kind of treacherous. Uh, what are we gonna do over this way? Anything? Maybe we're supposed to flip it the other way. I'm actually not quite sure myself. Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, huh. Alright, uh, boo, get out of here. Alright. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Uh, let's just not die before I can really uh, get the star, please. I look kind of suck. Alright, I see what we have to do, though. We have to get launched in the bubble up there and then hit it. Now we can come over this way and let the light shine through. We can let heaven let its light shine down. And then we can end it off without dying, please. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. No! Oh. Ah! Man, this episode has been full of suck, has- Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, I was taking that stupid, stupid death pretty well until this happened. Hey, at least I get some decent star bits still, but ugh. Oh, that is a kick in the nether regions. As some might say. Damn, that really sucks. Okay, so... That uh, spike ball thing is much more annoying than I initially imagined. I'm gonna have to uh, keep a good lookout on his location in relation to mine. Please let me get a first shot. Good. Alright, well at least we know what to do now. Because uh, when I went into that room I was like, what am I supposed to be doing? But now I know, so we're good. Alright, smack that. Smack that. Smack. Dat. Oh, that's not what I want. Wait, what am I doing? I should be letting that shine through. Come on. Since I don't want to go over there right now, I wonder if it's possible to do that! Alright, it's totally possible. I'm gonna try and do that because that would be pretty cool, if you ask me. Oh, I totally did! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Alright, I'm really glad I was able to do that. Alright, over 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna end it yet. We've got three of the four stars I wanted to do. We're doing my neck. We're doing the uh, final green star that we haven't collected yet. So we can open up the green star galaxies. And if you weren't aware, I don't know if I spoke about it yet or not, but the green star galaxies are really, really difficult. So you guys are going to enjoy seeing me suffer through those, right? I really hope you do because I I hope I get something as an as an accomplishment for my suffering other than uh, three stars from there. But anyways, in order to get to those uh, green star galaxies, we have to go get the last green star. We've already got two, and the final one resides at Buoy Base, a level that they should have used more. It's only got two stars in it, and it's really sad. Because it is a great design for a level. It's just cool. I love it. I love it. 
And of course, the green star resides in its one level. So, instead of scaling the ginormous fortress that is in front of us, hey guys, I hate you. Uh, what we're supposed to do is actually go down here. Instead of have a bullet bill uh, knock out the weight in there, I need a bullet bill for something else. And this song here is pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie. Alright, bullet bill's locked onto me. Oh, there's one over here too. You see that pipe right there? Uh, that's where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to lead these torpedo heads, I believe they're called. If not, I'll just call them bullet bills with different look. But we gotta lead them into this. And it's easier said than done since we're underwater, but it wasn't too bad there. And just gotta lead Mario over there, get sucked in. And now we're on top. And our green star resides right in there. But we've got all these bullet bills chasing us on our way in. And it's looking like we're gonna have to have one blow up the uh, core so we can get our green star as well. Aw, uh, just got totally blocked there. Now this looks like it might be a bit of a challenge to pull off, so I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. Alright, shoot. Uh, they're not getting locked onto me. Maybe I have to stand on top. Really? Well, I guess I'm supposed to lead them from out here. That is pretty uh, difficult, if you ask me. Alright, those two got locked on. Right, let's give this a shot. I hope that they don't bump into each other. Okay, okay, good. Oh, those two are still after me. Let's not even waste any time with grabbing that star. Oh, okay. I thought I was so dead right there. Regardless, we got our final green star. And I'm very pleased about that. Not only that, we got the four stars I was hoping to get in this episode. Plus the fact that we now have 104 stars. And as that tile down there indicates the one that we're standing on, we've only got 16 stars left. You've managed to recover, uh, excuse me, you've managed to recover all the green power stars and restore the green launch star. And we've got three new galaxies. Even I don't know what's waiting for you out there behind, beyond the green launch star. That should be a sign for how difficult it is. Anyways, in this episode, we accomplished everything that I was hoping to accomplish. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Bacon Burger King. And in the next episode, uh, maybe we'll do some comets. Are there any up there right now? No. Okay, well then, I guess I'll just do the stupid Luma one that I didn't want to do. I guess we'll try and do that in the next episode. Don't expect me to get too many stars in the next episode. Anyways, this has been Bacon Burger King, and I will see you all in the next part.